Good morning, everybody. It's Lindy. Okay, so today I want to show you how I personally cross post my eBay items over to Poshmark. So lately, a lot of people have been starting to do the whole cross posting thing just to try to get their items a little bit more exposure. Um, I don't cross post everything to my Poshmark closet, but there are some things that I feel like might do okay over there if the sales are slower of those items on eBay. So I have seen a couple videos lately of people showing how they cross post their items, but every single one that I've seen shows how they cross post from their mobile device. And if you guys have been following me for any length of time, you know that I don't like doing anything on mobile. I prefer listing and doing everything directly on my PC. So I want to show you how I cross post from eBay to Poshmark on the computer. And one of the best things about this technique is you don't have to worry about taking square photos for Poshmark. As everybody knows, if you've dappled in Poshmark, all of the photos on Poshmark have to be square. And it makes it really difficult to get like the full shots in of things like dresses or tunics, long shirts, everything like that. Because when you do a square photo, the item makes it so there's so much on the sides and you either have to do something like a collage or you have to have a really wide background, which I do not. My background is pretty narrow. So when I try to take square photos, I see the sides behind the background. And so it looks really tacky. So I can't really take square photos right now. But when I cross post from eBay to Poshmark, I don't have to worry about square photos because eBay squares your photos for you. So now I'm going to show you first, I'm going to do step by step of the tools and the things that I use to cross post over to Poshmark. I'm going to go really slow and then I'll do one or two after that at my normal speed to show you just how fast you can cross post when you start to get the hang of things. So the main tool that I use for getting the pictures from eBay to Poshmark is a tool called snipping tool. It's up here, snipping tool. This is actually a screenshot uh, add-on that came with my computer. I have an HP. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure that Macs or Apples, whatever you want to call it, they have their own um, they have their own screenshotting software. You might just have to Google it. If your computer doesn't have it, you can simply Google some sort of a free, uh, free software to go on your computer. I know that there's lots out there, but Snipping Tool was the one that just came with my computer. It was already on it, so that's what I use. Um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have a designated folder. So I have a folder on my desktop that I just have as cross post posh and I am doing screenshots of items and putting it in this folder and deleting them and redoing it over and over every day. I usually don't let this folder fill up. I will do like maybe eight items and then I'll delete all the pictures and I'll keep going and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay. So I have my Poshmark closet here. I'm going to click sell on Poshmark so I can get my listing page up and I'm going to do this step by step and show you guys exactly how I do it. Okay. So I have this first item up. This is the first one that I want to cross post. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click new. And then what you do is you just click and drag your box. Notice how it's a perfect square and you can either come up here to hit file, save as, or you could do the shortcut, which is what I do, which is just control S and then that saves it. I usually have a default to this cross post posh folder just because it seems to remember the folder that you use every time. So I'm not going to title it anything crazy. I'm just going to hit A, file name A, and I'm going to hit enter to save it. And then that put that picture's done. And then I click off. I switch to picture number two. I click back up my snipping tool and I hit new. Click and drag. There's my square. Control S for save. And then I'm going to save this one as AA. And then I click back. 
picture number three, snipping tool, new, click and drag, control S to save, A, 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 see a theme here. Picture number four, new, click and drag, control S, A, 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 A. Okay, so now all of my pictures for this listing have been screenshotted. Now what I do is I just click on this title until it's all highlighted, right click and copy, and then I come over here. This is the exact process I do every single time. The first thing I do is I put the original title from eBay in the description. Now you don't get as many characters for your title um, on Poshmark as you do with eBay. So you are going to have to shorten it. However, I put the full title that I have in eBay over on Poshmark because unlike eBay, with Poshmark, all of the words in the description are searchable. So just because it's not in the title doesn't mean that it won't come up in search. If somebody were to search for floral shorts, this will still come up because floral is in the description, which is awesome. It gives you a whole lot more opportunity to uh, to do a lot of keywords in Poshmark. So I'm probably just going to say that these are, I'm going to highlight the portion that I want as my title, and then I'm going to say copy, and then I'm going to come up to title, right click and paste, and then I'm going to come back, I'm going to scroll down to my description. As you can see, I do very, very basic descriptions. That's one of the things that eBay had recommended is that we keep it nice and simple. You don't give too much for the buyer to read. You just give them the information that they want. I hit enter to bring that down a little bit, and then I just control V to paste all of that information in here. And I'm gonna come up to my photos. Okay, then I have my cross post posh folder over here. And then just another shortcut rather than clicking one and then doing that, whoops, individually. Darn it, I was gonna show you. Um, of course, some of this stuff might be mundane to people that have been on the computer for a while, but if you're newer with the computer, then you don't know a lot of the shortcuts. That's why I'm showing. If you click the first one and then you come to the last one, you hold down control and shift and click it, it automatically selects all of those. So that's what I do to save time if I have numerous photos. And then you just click open and it's going to automatically put them in the order that they are saved in. Adjust the size, click apply. And now I don't have to worry about doing anything with these because they're all squared, if you notice. Yeah, it's got the bars on here, but the bars are better than, you know, uh, the edge of the background, you know what I'm saying? So all my photos are good. Now I'm just gonna scroll down. You hit the category, shorts, jean shorts, single item. Let's see, what size, their size 30. They still have tags. No, it's not boutique. Chelsea and Violet, two colors. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do blue. Is there, let's see. And we'll do blue and purple. Original price is $98. We're gonna list these for, we'll do 36. And then we hit next and list. And there we go. Yay, it's listed. Okay, we're gonna create another listing. Okay, now since I went through slow and showed you exactly how the process works, I'm going to switch over to another listing and I'm just going to do it at my regular speed so we could see just how fast I can do this. All right, ah, here we go. Oh, let me get a drink of coffee. Alrighty, here's my next one. I already had the the uh, thing pulled up. All right, here we go.
Yeah, it's a little bit. Thirty-two. I think that's a plus. Yep. Makes us sixty-nine dollars. Yep. We're gonna list these for thirty-two. Max done. Booyah! All right, we'll do one more. Kind of curious to see just how fast this is because believe it or not, I haven't ever timed myself before. So I'm just gonna time myself right now. Alexa, set a timer for 60 seconds. One minute, starting now. Ooh, this one has an extra picture. Oh, 60 seconds is up. Alexa, stop. Oh, well. Bummer. I thought I was going to be able to get it in under 60 seconds. Oh, well. I don't care. I'm still going really fast. <laughs> is this still fast enough for me? I want to say, I don't know, maybe 90 seconds, give or take. Is this blue and red? Yeah, we'll say blue and red. Boom. We'll just, we'll guess and say 90 seconds. All right, you guys, but that's how I do it. That is how I cross post things from eBay over to Poshmark using the desktop. So I hope that you find this helpful. Hopefully I had it broken down enough and went slow enough the first time to where you guys kind of caught on. Um, but really utilizing those uh, keyboard shortcuts like control S for saving and you know control V for pasting and the double clicking to highlight the entire title uh, hopefully that kind of stuff helps make it even faster for you and hopefully now you can see that you can cross post your stuff from eBay over to Poshmark you don't have to worry about taking square photos with your phone or your camera or whatever you're using to take your photos you can simply just screenshot the square photos on your computer and put everything over to Poshmark. And don't forget, there's nothing that hurts about putting your stuff over to Poshmark. There is no listing fees. You only get charged fees when the item sells. So, all right, you guys, hope you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you think you're gonna benefit from this. Feel free to leave any comments in the comment section and I will see you guys next time. Bye.